The My Eloquent page is the first page you will see after logging into Eloqua 10. These are the elements found on the My Eloqua page. The Eloqua 10 logo. Click on this logo to go back to the My Eloqua page from wherever you might be in the application. The Navigation Toolbar. The Navigation Toolbar includes icons that will take you to editors for campaigns, assets, which are emails, landing pages, forms, and the component library, contacts for contact management, contact segments, data tools, the shared library, custom data objects and accounts, Eloqua Insight, our reporting solution, Revenue Architect and Revenue Insight for revenue performance management, and finally, the Setup Area. The Setup Area includes the largest number of options among the navigation tools. Some examples of what can be configured in the Setup Area include the Preferences section. Here you can manage your user profile and visitor notifications. The Administration Area gives you the ability to add, remove, or change users and their settings, specify asset controls or security, configure cloud components such as Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and other social media, and more. In the Assets section, you can optimize settings for campaigns and emails, manage email groups and subscriptions, microsites, configure your form notifications, and others. The last sections in the setup area, database and website, are where you go to access Program Builder, Contacts and Accounts, Fields and Views, Configure and Process Data Exports and Imports, Set up Website Tracking, Visitor Profiles and Page Tagging, and much more. To customize the look and feel of My Eloqua, click the plus sign in the lower left-hand corner. The widget dock contains 10 widget icons to add to your My Eloqua page, creating a sort of dashboard of your favorite and most used features. To add one or more widgets, double-click on the widget. Similarly, to remove a widget from the My Eloqua page, simply click on the X in the upper left-hand corner of the widget, and it is removed from the desktop. Note that most areas of the application require only a single left mouse click. However, the widget dock requires that you double-click in order to add it to the My Eloqua page. You can drag and drop the widgets around the canvas to align them in an order of your choosing. If a widget offers additional options, a gears icon appears in the upper right-hand corner of the widget. In this example, Favorite Reports, if I click on the gears icon, I'm brought to a screen where I can add reports to my favorite report list by clicking on the plus sign, typing in the name of report, for example, campaign analysis, selecting that, clicking add, then click done to mark that you're finished, and the campaign analysis report is added. Double clicking on the campaign analysis report will bring you directly to that report. Finally, if desired, you can also customize the background wallpaper on the My Eloqua screen by clicking here on the Change Wallpaper button. Once selected, click anywhere outside the six graphics that are presented to go back to the My Eloqua page. To close the widget dock, click on the X in the lower left-hand corner. The final elements of the My Eloqua page are located in the upper right-hand corner global search, the help icon, and the logout button. Clicking the global search icon opens a search field. Begin by typing the string for the item or items you wish to find, and any matching results will be displayed after you type a minimum of three characters. For example, if I'm searching for the word America, as soon as I type the E in the word America, I get results presented that contain the string AME. To further narrow down the search results, continue typing until I get to the word America, and you will notice that only one result matches that particular word. In addition, notice that the word America that I'm searching for is highlighted in blue. The help icon opens a drop-down menu from which you can access Eloqua University to view and register for instructor-led and online classes, Topliners, the online community for Eloqua users, and the Eloqua support portal. The final section of the help icon provides links to online video tutorials where available. The last icon, the logout button, will prompt you to confirm that you wish to exit the application. 